Hello guys, welcome to Jehook and in today's session we are going to talk about how to delete your Helm release. In the previous session we have seen how to install your Helm chart, how to upgrade your Helm chart and how to roll back your Helm chart. So please go back and check those sessions if you are interested in learning those topics. But in today's session our main focus is on how to delete your Helm release. So before we start, uh, first of all let's create a Helm chart, try to install that Helm chart and then we are going to perform the Helm delete command. Okay, uh, I'll put the link of this guide into the description section so you can uh, follow this guide for the commands and the instructions. But uh, uh, on the left hand side, you can see this is my terminal. And first of all, we need to create a Helm chart uh, before we uh, jump into directly to the delete command. And the command for creating the Helm chart is Helm create hello world. Okay, so you can verify the Helm chart by running command ls and also you can by running the command tree and here you can see the structure of our helm chart okay along with the yml that is by default shipped by helm chart all right so what i'm going to do first of all we are going to install the helm chart and after that we are going to perform the delete command okay so the command for installation is helm install uh, then you need to specify your release name so i'm just gonna assign the release as my release name this is a user defined name you can put any name of your choice and then you need to specify your actual uh, hello world helm chart name okay and after that just hit enter and once you see this message that means your helm chart has been installed correctly okay i'll clear the screen and we can verify the installation by running the command helm list a and here you can see our version uh, one or revision one of my helm chart has been installed okay so now we have installed our helm chart and you can uh, verify one uh, using one more command like kubectl get deployment and here you can see uh, your uh, kubernetes deployment of your helm chart actually all right so now i wanted to delete this helm chart so that uh, i can just get rid of this helm chart from my kubernetes cluster okay so one thing you should always keep in mind that you need to have the correct release name so here the release name which we have used is my release so i'm just gonna use the same release name to perform the helm delete command okay so the command is helm delete and followed by your release name so i'm just gonna copy and paste it over here and hit enter so it, you will see a message release and your release name that is my release unstalled that means it has deleted uh, that particular release for us and you can verify by running the command hell list a and here you can see the list is uh, helm list is completely empty that means we have successfully deleted our helm chart and also you can uh, verify from kubernetes point of view by running the command kubectl get deployment and here you can see no resource found in the default namespace and previously we have seen we uh, we were getting one uh, resource which was deployed inside our kubernetes cluster so yeah this was a short session on how to use helm delete command and this command is really useful once you want to clean up your workspace and you want to delete some old uh, helm projects or helm releases from your workspaces okay so don't worry i'm just gonna put the link of this guide into the description section uh, this is running on my local host but uh, i'll put the actual link into the description section of this video so you can follow all those commands and also if you're interested into the similar content on devops like kubernetes helm chart uh, terraform docker then you can follow my channel where i keep on posting a similar content on weekly basis and also you can put any comments or errors which you face during uh, your practices or your uh, lab sessions so you can just put down those errors here i'll try to get back to you with some suitable answer and also you can find me on a web with the name jhook.com where i keep on preparing similar guides and sessions which i generally use into the lab session so all those commands are pretty much available on my blog so you can just go back and check those uh, links and yeah so see you into the next session till then uh, bye bye